let's move on. Our second presentation is from Abdullah Al Suwalam, uh, representing the General Organization for Social Insurance, um, and will be hosted by Gary Hallam, um, who heads up our business in Middle East and Africa. So, thank you, Gary. I'm passing the baton. Okay. Great, thank you very much, uh, Elaine. That was that was great to hear from Proximus there. But now I've got great pleasure in introducing Abdullah from GOSI, the General Organisation for Social Insurance. And I think um, for people in the UK, I think that organisation is a little bit like our, our Department for Work and Pensions, so social insurance um, and, and a government department that, that that operates like that. But I'm sure Abdullah can explain his business um, and introduce himself. And also tell us how he's used Delphix. I think we've, we've had Delphix in place in Gossi since 2017. So um, over to you, Abdullah, and uh, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you, Gary. Um, um, hi, everyone. I'm Abdullah Swalem. I'm a database administrator in Gossi. And also the Delphix admin here, here in, in the organization. Uh, so a brief about the organization. Well, GOSI implements the provisions of social insurance law in the kingdom and follow up the process of achieving the compulsory coverage, collecting contributions from employees, from employees and employees as well, and paying benefits to the contributors. And we cover 8 million contributors in the country. Uh, that's about 60% of the workforce and uh, yearly we pay around $5.5 billion, billion dollars, uh, as benefits. Uh, there are three branches to, to the work, to, to the main thing that GUSI does. It's annuity, occupational hazards, uh, and unemployment insurance uh, in the kingdom. Well, and, and our users through our web and mobile applications, they can uh, pretty much do everything uh, GUSI can provide to them. Um, and when COVID lockdown uh, started the kingdom in, in April, uh, a, wave, a wave of terminations uh, came in and in a very short time, uh, millions of families and individuals found themselves without income. And so it was Gursi with the work of the government uh, who had to cover all these uh, individuals and families in a very, very short time. And uh, thanks to Delphix at that time, we managed to uh, make development much, much, much faster. And we covered them uh, right at the beginning of the next month. So that, that's that's a good thing about uh, how, what GUSI does. Uh, so our journey with Delphix started um, in 2017. And at the beginning, we installed, uh, we installed the engine. We created a couple of these sources as, uh, as a beginning. And then we handed uh, virtual databases to developers and testers. And right after we handed them uh, these databases, we saw the value Delphix can add to, to the environment of Delphix. So uh, at the end uh, of, the, of, of the first or second quarter of 2018, we migrated most of the development environment that acquire frequent refreshes into Delphix as virtual databases. And now we have, uh, we have uh, too many databases. One application has around 60 virtual databases um, and we had them in two teams and sometimes to individual developers and testers. Um, so the design architecture here in GUSI is, um, is a bit simple. We have multiple data sources. They range um, to multiple database vendors, um, mainly Oracle and Microsoft uh, SQL Server. And the versions also, also range from 11.2.04, 12.2 and 19 as well, that's for Oracle. Um, and from Delphix, we provision the virtual databases from these, these sources. We have a third party masking that happen on these virtual databases before they are handed into the developers and testers as well as DBAs such, such as myself. And we take uh, good advantage of Delphix uh, in that manner. Um, so uh, before Delphix came in, uh, here in the environment, in the environment uh, of GUSI, um, our development and overall lower environments were very limited by the hardware resources. So uh, a lot of developers work on the same database. So any action happening in that database, in that database would affect uh, mostly all developers. Um, and that prevented us from, prevented the developers from having uh, up-to-date uh, data. So we, um, 
we had a single weekly clone um, at the end of the week. The end of the week here in the kingdom ends on Thursday. So at Thursday, um, uh, after working hours, we're going to have a single clone. That clone would serve the developers and the testers all the way until next week. And that clone would take at least six hours to clone and then a few other hours uh, for masking. Um, as I mentioned, the cloning time is, is six hours at least. And that was a downtime for developers. So it wasn't possible to do it during the work day, the, during the week day, during the work day. Also backups of our environments occupied lots of resources. So there were negotiations and trade-offs. So um, for most development databases, the retention of the backup was lowered uh, as well as the number of backups that we can keep. Um, also for us DBAs, we spent much of our time fixing and maintaining these level environments. Um, and we were prevented from testing structural changes in the database because if we want to test a feature or make a change into that database and it breaks something, the whole development team uh, would be unable to do anything on the database. And then came Delphix in 2017. So from the beginning, uh, developers are freed from the infrastructural limitations. We can provision uh, any number of databases into the developers and they can have multiple clones um, as, as, as fast, as much as they can very fastly. And we successfully lowered the storage requirements by 88%. If we had to uh, make our uh, virtual databases that we have at the moment into physical databases, that wasn't even possible in, 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 the, in the past. Uh, the cloning time was reduced by 98%. So from uh, six hours only for cloning, uh, uh, it, it, it's now a uh, maximum 10, 15 minutes and let alone the masking time, which is also considered downtime because the database wouldn't be open until the whole data is masked. Um, also snapshots as, as, a, as a way of backup now ensure uh, databases against human and non-human errors we have unlimited uh, retentions that's based on the DBA since it doesn't occupy much storage. It's nearly zero in our cases. So we have very frequent snapshots happening during the day. So in case something happens, we can just restore the database to the previous snapshots very, very fast. So it also frees the, the developers from uh, testing and trying things as well as also the DBAs. Um, so we can now test uh, anything that we need to test uh, before applying it into production database. We've been dealing with upgrades lately from 12 to into 19. Um, so we uh, are trying multiple ways of upgrading the databases that we have multiple times during the day. So we can provision a database, try to upgrade it one way and then dump that database, provision another one and test another way. Also one of the uh, great things that we did and Delphix made it much easier to do is transparent data encryption. GUSI in the past year successfully implemented transparent transpa transpa data encryption and it was uh, a fast process due to the easy provisioning and cloning of the databases for DBAs to test. And now as DBAs, as I mentioned in the previous uh, projects, we are free from maintaining the lower environments so we can work freely on big projects such as upgrades and, and encryption. Um, as the wins for Goosey after Delphix came in, so we had uh, some business wins. So now in, in the past, we used to have uh, a lot of pressure from development leaders when the, when the database is cloned. And the, if there was um, a time for masking, usually it takes from two to four hours. And there was a push always to uh, just shorten the masking time or even dump the masking as a whole. And they, to be honest, sometimes succeeded, especially if there was an urgent deployment or a critical change. So with Delphix, we reduced masking time to zero downtime. So it reduced the exposure in the event of breaches since the data in the development environment will be fully masked. Also faster feature releases since each team or sometimes in, in, in some instances, uh, each developer has their own database they manage and they test on that database and develop on that database. So that resulted in faster feature releases. And also we have 88% less storage uh, in, in the database, uh, uh, in the database uh, requirements. Uh, in the technology wins, 
We now have parallel testing. As I mentioned that we have developers can have their own databases so they can work in parallel and develop, develop in delivering uh, the features. Um, also backup and restore is, uh, is no worry at the moment. And we have faster backups, it's instant. Also restore takes no time up to 10 minutes max. And also as DBAs, it, it released us from, released us from having routine, boring, lengthy tasks, maintaining the lower environment. So now we can work on big projects and big changes in the, in the organization. Um, in, in, the, in the past, uh, when we first started Delphix, uh, we kept the default, uh, we kept the default setting and we were trying to uh, figure out what to do, what to do best with the tool. But by the time we realized if we have frequent refreshes from production, development would align uh, with production databases and have new data. So the development phases will be much accurate. Also, we handed the developers um, a full control over the database so they can do whatever they want with it. Uh, and they connected it with their CI CD workflow. So everything is happening through Delphix APIs automatically based on their needs without any dependencies on DBAs. Uh, also, we replicated to DR engine, which ensures availability. We thankfully had, uh, we had a, a, a bad disaster um, back in March and uh, Delphix uh, replica engines uh, saved us from having downtime for the whole development environment. One of the main challenges that we had before Delphix uh, is the masking time. So the masking time, as I mentioned, used to take from two to four hours and in average it took three hours. And when Delphix came, we were, we were very focused on the cloning time and we were amazed by the first when we first saw the results by, by our eyes. And then after using it for quite some time, we realized we still have an obstacle, which was the masking time. Yes, the database finishes its cloning in, in, in no time, but then we had masking for three, time, three hours. So in order to uh, overcome that obstacle, we created a virtual database that's connected to the D source and that virtual database would have masking applied to it as a, as a hook in Delphix. So whenever that database completes provisioning, it's gonna have a hook that runs and mask the data. And then after the masking is complete, we're gonna provision from that database into the databases to be handed to the developers. So that database, the, the intermediate stage in the database would act as a parent to the all remaining development databases. So at the end, whenever I, a developer need uh, to refresh their database, the refresh will take 10 minutes and the data that they will have is going to be uh, fully masked as for the intermediate staging virtual database. Uh, thank you. That's our story with Delphix. Great. That's fantastic, Abdullah. Thanks for that. It's uh, really interesting and it's nice to hear. I mean, you used the word amazed and I think Mark used the word astonished, which is always the, the feedback we kind of get when uh, when people first see Delphix um, with their with their real eyes. And it's um, it's always the same and it always amazes me. And and, and even, yeah. you know, you and Mark were saying that you have to convince people that, that this is actually true and it really works. And, and that's why it's great working for Delphix and it's lovely to hear these stories. I've got, I've got a few questions actually for you. So um, you mentioned that one of the business wins was was those faster releases. You, have you any idea what the what the impact that's had on on the end users? So the end users of the, of Gossi's products. Yes, that, that's a good question, Gary. And we have a very good example that happened recently with the, with the, with the pandemic. So the technical changes currently are aligned with the policy updates after the Olympics came in. So, since, so the development is happening very fast. So mm -hmm. whenever uh, there is a policy change, we have we can update the technical uh, the technical uh, applications very fast. Um, so now the establishments can, can uh, the establishment and employees can take advantage of the services Goosey provide uh, fastly. And the good example, as I mentioned, is, is the, the latest releases that cover COVID-related terminations in the government um, as mobile-enabled applications encouraged uh, social distancing and kept our users safe. That's a good thing uh, to have in, in, in the pandemic. Well, that's excellent. I mean, yeah, as you say, if you, that, that 
that's a real need for a fast release, isn't it? The, the COVID, you, you need to implement changes quickly. I noticed there, were a mo there was a mobile application at the beginning of your slides. Um, what did you did you use Delphix to um, move into those mobile applications? Was was that part of the um, the reason for implementing Delphix? Yeah. So so Gusi was uh, is one of the leaders in the government to to move uh, uh, very fast into mobile and web applications. Um, the web the, the mobile application started in two thousand sixteen and started developing. Uh, gradually, and when Delphix came in, uh, the project totally kicked off and became much faster, and, and the releases were much, much faster. So yes, Delphix added uh, agility into the processes and applications of, of GUSI. Brilliant. And um, you say the cloning time was reduced by 98%, which is, is phenomenal. So that means many hours, that I guess, have been saved. Um, what, what impact has that had on the productivity of the team? I mean, it, you know, how many DBAs are there in total? And, and, and I, I guess you're just more productive. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, with, with, with Delphix, uh, we only have four DBAs, if you, can, if you can believe this. Four DBAs covering 8 million contributors. And since Delphix came in, we had the free time, as, as, as you mentioned. And now we can accomplish big projects. And we, we did, actually. Uh, these projects were put on hold for quite a long time uh, due to some maintaining and fixing flower environments. And some of these projects were, uh, as I mentioned, transparent data encryption, also encryption key management, uh, auditing, as well as replication, and also enhancing the internals of the database. So some features that we have and, and GOSI paid for uh, is not used because nobody had the time to go and explore what they can add to, to the environment of GOSI. Well, that's interesting. I, I suppose the, the old adage, practice makes perfect. And if you've got those virtual databases, as many as you like, all you can eat kind of data is, I think, yeah. the term. And, and I guess that means you can do all that practice. And then, and then that allows you to learn and leverage all of the new capabilities that are coming into those databases. So that's fantastic. Exactly. exactly. Yeah.